Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton was born prematurely on Christmas morning 1643 in Woolsthorpe, Lincolnshire, England. He was so tiny he wasn't expected to live more than a day. As a child, Newton escaped into the world of books. But he didn't read storybooks. He preferred books on mechanics and technology. He even invented a complicated system of sundials, which were accurate to the minute. His mother tried to force him to be a farmer, but he couldn't get the hang of it. So he went off to Trinity College, Cambridge, where he had to clean up after his wealthier classmates in order to make ends meet. When the plague hit Cambridge, the university had to close temporarily. So Newton had to return home. His time at home turned out to be one of his most productive. Concerning himself with the big unsolved mathematical problems of the day, Newton invented calculus, which is essentially the study of how things change. By now, Newton believed that he needed to stop reading books and start observing how things worked firsthand. Some of his experiments included placing a blunt needle into his eye. It seems crazy. But through these experiments, he was able to understand how light and colour work. He refracted white light with a prism, resolving it into its component colours of the visible spectrum. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue and violet. By using mirrors instead of lenses, Newton was able to create the most powerful telescope of the day, ten times smaller than traditional telescopes. When the Royal Society didn't understand his experiments properly, he flew off the handle and withdrew from scientific circles. During this second period of isolation, he became absorbed in alchemy, a secretive study of the nature of life and the medieval forerunner of chemistry. Among other interests, Newton tried to find the formula for the Philosopher's Stone. He thought he could use it to turn lead into gold and perhaps even live a longer life. One of Newton's many enemies was German philosopher Gottfried Leibniz, who wrote a new theory of calculus. Newton accused Leibniz of stealing his ideas from 20 years previous, even though he'd never published them. The two men were lifelong rivals. In 1687, Newton published The Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica, it described his own theory of calculus, the three laws of motion, and the first rigorous account of his famous theory of universal gravitation. Many of these theories are still used today. As if his scientific accomplishments weren't enough, Newton got himself elected to Parliament. But the only time he ever spoke on record was to ask for a window to be closed. As the master of the Royal Mint, Newton oversaw a huge project to recall the old currency and issue a more reliable one using the gold standard. He was known to find, prosecute and punish counterfeiters with great enthusiasm. Despite being an ornery, vindictive and eccentric man, by the time of his death at age 84, Isaac Newton had become a national hero. He is buried with full honours at Westminster Abbey. His discoveries in the fields of physics, mathematics and astronomy led Einstein to come up with his E equals mc squared equation over 200 years later. 375 years after his death, Isaac Newton is still considered by many to be the most influential scientist of all time.